हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे सेवन ऑफ मोस्ट आस्क 100 नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज गाइस वी हैव डिस्कस 30 क्वेश्चन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बट टुडे क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन ओएसपीएफ राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल बट रिमेंबर गाइस दिस क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू मेनी टाइम इंटरव्यूअर विल आस्क यू this type of question in interview so first question for the day is what do you mean by ospf guys many time interviewer is asking to network engineer what is ospf explain ospf what do you mean by ospf right so definitely network engineer can ask to you as well explain ospf or what is ospf so you have to share your proper answer what do you mean by ospf so guys ospf stand for open open shortest path first open shortest path first here open means open standard right ospf is a open standard protocol and shortest path first is a algorithm that ospf use right it is an algorithm algorithm right and open means it is a open standard so ospf stand for open shortest path first it is an open standard link state routing protocol that uses an spf algorithm to find best path from source to destination so you have to keep in mind this line right this line dig to this line that ospf stand for open shortest path first you have to practice on it right how you will share your answer in front of interviewer because this question is very important and definitely if you if you will attend three to four interview for network engineer one interviewer will definitely ask you this question right so ospf stand for open shortest path first open shortest path means open means open standard and shortest path first is an algorithm that ospf use after that it is an open standard link state routing protocols that use protocol that use spf algorithm to find best path from source to destination now ospf is a layer 3 protocol that uses protocol number 89 right ospf uses protocol number 89 you have to keep in mind this line as well right and ospf uses two multicast address for the destination and that is 224.0.0.5 and 224.0.0.6 guys why ospf using two multicast address so if you you remember my theory class right we had discussed that 224.0.0.5 address will listen by dr router only by dr other router only right by dr other router only and 224.0.0.6 will be listened by dr router only right so only dr router will listen on dr router and bdr router as well bdr right dr and bdr router will listen on this address and dr other router will listen this address so whenever any update message any type of message dr other router will generate they will send on this multicast address on this multicast address 224.0.0.6 right and whenever dr will generate any message any update message or any message health even it is hello message update message uh, link state uh, request message doesn't matter which message you are uh, dr router is generating they will generate on this address 224.0.0.5 right and dr other router will generate message on this this address right they will share ospf message on this address right d or uh, every dr other router will share on this address and dr router will share on this this address so that's why i am i am telling that this address is listened by dr only right after that next point you can 
you can uh, mention in your answer is OSPF maintains three types of table, right? That is first one is database table, second one is neighbor table and third one is routing table, right? In database table, there will be information of complete topology. In neighbor table, there will be information of directly connected neighbor. In routing table, there will be best path, right? So this is answer when interviewer will ask you to explain OSPF, right? Or interviewer will ask you to explain what do you mean by OSPF, right? Now let me move on next question, right? So next question is this one, question number 32. Describe the types of router in OSPF. Guys, this is also a VVI question, right? Many time interviewer is asking to network engineer this question, right? So actually there are four types of router in OSPF. There are four types of router in OSPF. First one is backbone router. Second one is internal router. Third one is area border router. And fourth one is autonomous system area border router, right? We also call this as ASBR router and area border router as ABR router, right? So definitely interviewer will ask you like this as well, right? So explain ABR router or explain ASBR router, right? So guys understand one by one, four types of router, right? So first one is backbone router, right? So backbone router is an OSPF router whose all interface belongs to area zero. Area zero is your backbone area is your back bone area right so if a router whose all interface belongs to area zero that router is known as backbone router right second one is internal router so an ospf router whose all interfaces belongs to regular area right so regular what is regular area interviewer can ask you this question as well what do you mean by regular area and what is regular area so regular area is all area except area 0 like area 1 area 2 area 3 area 4 each and every area except area 0 is known as regular area so that router whose all interface belongs to a regular area that type of router is known as internal router right and third one is abr router guys and OSPF router whose, whose at least one interface belongs to area 0, whose one interface belongs to area 0, at least one, right? And at least one interface belongs to any other area, means any regular area. So that type of router is known as ABR router, right? Area border router. And last one is autonomous system area border router. Guys, an OSPF router on which we perform we perform redistribution so th that means a router wh whose at least one interface belongs to a ospf domain and one interface belongs to any other uh, routing protocol domain right like eigrp then you need to perform redistribution on that router so when you will perform redistribution on any router that router will become autonomous system area border router asbr router right so you have to keep in mind this four point as well right if you are preparing for network engineer interview this is also a vvi question let me move on next question next question is question number 33 how can we change the router id in the ospf domain so guys as you know of, uh, if you want to change router ID, right? So you have to run one command that is clear IP OSPF process, right? You can see OSPF router ID should not be missed used after OSPF method is started, right? And the OSPF neighborship is recognized, right? So when neighborship will stabilized, right? Then you, you, if you will configure router ID, then you need to you need to refill the iOS or you can run this command clear IP OSPF process right to change router ID. So sometime interviewer will ask you this question right this is not much important question but yes it is important question that's why I am discussing here okay. Let me move on next question that is question number 
34 what are the characteristics of ospf so guys these are the characteristics that you can mention in your answer if interviewer will ask you to define characteristic of ospf right so ospf utilized cost as its metric right ospf calculate cost to find best path right so what is the formula of cost reference bandwidth upon bandwidth of link right so ospf utilize cost as its metric which is calculated which is which calculate based on the bandwidth of link which based on the bandwidth of link second characteristic is ospf is a classless routing protocol that support vlsm and cidr okay next is ospf routes have an administrative distance of 110 it has no hop count limit right it support limitless hop count so this point is very important right and this is the advantage you can say this is this is advantage of ospf as well right so it has no hop count limit right it support limitless hop count okay now next characteristic is ospf work on area concept right so why we come up with area concept in ospf right to make the topology more stable right actually to reduce the size of database right if if we have four four thousand four thousand daughter or you can say 400 daughter or 100 daughter in one area of ospf so whenever there will be change in topology every router will execute spf algorithm again and again right so this is not good because whenever a router will uh, execute spf algorithm they will use cpu utilization right so area concept reduce cpu utilization as well okay so let me move on next question last question of the day give some advantage of using ospf summarization okay so summarization is used to reduce the number of update messages right definitely we are discussing theory these things right so ospf ospf summarization uh, is used to reduce the number of update messages or you can say ospf summarization minimize the size of routing table as well yes we are discussing theory ospf summarization reduce the weight on router process as well right so we have discussed these things so you can mention this three point in this in the in in your answer if interviewer will ask you to define advantage of using ospf summarization right so if you will summarize then definitely update message will number of update message will be reduced right routing size of routing table will be reduced size of database table will be reduced right so guys these are the five most important question of ospf that interviewer is asking to network engineer many time so you have to practice on these five question right and uh, if you have any doubt please let me know in comment i will make you clear in next video okay so we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking that's all for today bye bye everyone